My name is Meredith and I'm the GoPro mom. And if you're a cool mom or dad that shoots home movies with your GoPro, then you need to know how to edit them. So I'm gonna do a series of videos on how to use GoPro Studio, which is the free software that GoPro puts out for Mac and PC. So this is video number one, which is just a little bit of an intro and I will be doing it on my Mac, but it's not that much different than a PC. So just roll with it. Okay, so of course we want to make sure we have GoPro Studio on our computer and you can get that at GoPro.com and I'm not going to go through how to download it and install it and all that stuff, but I'll assume that you have that done already. The other thing that you're going to need in order to make a home movie is to have some video files on your computer that you can access to import into your project and create a movie out of. GoPro Studio is sort of designed to walk you through the process. Um, so if you're just starting out and you're not really sure where to start, it makes it really easy because you can't really do anything else around here. This is the only thing you can do is import new files. So I'm importing one clip from my GoPro um, from a recent trip to um, Hershey Park. It's important to note that when you are importing files into GoPro Studio, you're not moving those files anywhere. They're still on your hard drive. They're still in the folder that you just imported them from. Um, GoPro Studio is just sort of using them, just accessing them. You're not moving them. You're not copying them. You're just using them in the software. So don't go back and then delete your files because you're you're going to delete them right out of your project. At some point, GoPro Studio will ask you to name your project and um, we're just going to call it Hershey Park Water Slide. Um, and we're going to save it there. Um, keep in mind here, you're just saving your project. You're not saving the movie. You're not saving the video. You haven't edited anything yet. You're just saving the project that you're working on. So I'm just going to be working with one clip in this video. In uh, the next video in the series, I'll be working with multiple clips, which is a little bit more realistic if you have gone on a family vacation or something like that. Um, but for right now, just getting started, I'm just going to be working with this one clip. Okay, now I have this one clip and it's 39 seconds long, but I don't want the whole thing in my video because I'm waiting for her to come down this water slide and I'm kind of waiting and waiting and waiting and then this kid comes down and that's not my kid. So I don't want him in my home movie. So I'm waiting and I'm still waiting and I want to trim all this extra waiting off of it. There's my daughter there. So I don't want all that other crap. I want to get rid of it. I don't want it in my home movie. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim I'm going to come back up just until she's about to come out there. And this is called marking an endpoint. I'm going to mark that endpoint there. And then I'm going to play it until I get to a spot where I want to stop. So she came down the slide. Looks good. Looks good. Then she gets out of the slide and we'll stop right there. Oop. Okay, so I'm going to back that up just a little bit. Um, so I don't really need the whole scene of me like chasing her around the water park. So I'm going to select an end point or a mark out point it's called here. So now I have just the piece of that video that I want. And before we go any further, one thing to take note of is that if you are shooting GoPro video upside down, which so sometimes if you attach your GoPro to um, like the windshield in your car or to handlebars or something, you might have shot it upside down. And right here is where you would just select to rotate it. And um, GoPro Studio will do that for you. And let's peek into advanced settings here real quick. Um, this is where it tells us our image size is 920 by 1080, so it's, it's HD. It's not gigantic. I don't shoot gigantic. I shoot in 1080 because it's just, the file sizes are smaller and it's a lot easier to manage. Um, our frame rate is good. Um, I don't want to speed it up. I want it to be high quality though, so I'm going to bump up to high. And I could choose to remove the fisheye effect 
but it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal in these videos so I'm just gonna leave it and I'm gonna select remember settings for future clips and I'm gonna select OK and then I'm going to add clip to conversion list and it's gonna pop over here on the right so we have that little clip of just the content that we want that we can make into a home movie in the next step but before I do that I'm going to grab a little bit off of the tail end of this clip and show you that we can actually take our one clip over here on the left and turn it into two separate clips of just the content that we're looking for so, let me put that little bad boy at the end, and I'm going to do an end point and add to the conversion list. And it kept the same settings that I set before, so it's still high quality, um, and we're good to go there. So now we have these two clips of just the content that we wanted. We got rid of the junk, we got rid of the kid that wasn't even in my family. And now GoPro Studio needs to convert both of these files so that we can edit them into a real movie. So the conversion process can sometimes take quite a while if your clips are pretty long or if you have several clips. Mine are really very, very short, so this, is, this isn't going to take very long. So this conversion process is unique to GoPro Studio. You don't have to do this in iMovie or Adobe Premiere or anything like that. It's just the way that this particular software works. So once these are converted, we're going to hit proceed to step two. And this is where GoPro Studio gives you an option to use some of their sort of like pre-edited templates where they've added their own effects and you, all you have to do is drop your video clips into them. I don't ever use these. I always select a blank template and that's what I'm gonna do now. So now your converted clips are over here on the left and they're ready to be edited and dragged into your project here so that you can create a really awesome home movie. So this is where we actually create the movie. Um, down here is your timeline. Over on the left hand side is your um, clips that you just converted and on the right hand side is where we can adjust some of the settings and we'll get into that in just a second but here's our two clips that we converted we can view them if you have a bunch of clips you know it's good if you can't remember which one is which and they who knows what order they're in you can view them over here but in order to get them into the movie that you're creating you need to drag them down here to your timeline so you drag that video down to your timeline and um, you can add the next one down next to it if you want to you just kind of come on you just kind of pull up it right in there you can change where you want it to go if you want so you can change which order they're in rearrange things um, I actually want that one that's the little clip that was at the end I actually want that at the beginning of my movie because she's getting in into the slide and then we'll see her come out the bottom of the slide so it actually makes a lot of sense um, if you want to get rid of it just hit delete okay so we're gonna drag that back down in there um, you can press the play button at any point to view what you have so far we don't have any transitions we don't have any titles we don't have to worry about any of that stuff right now um, we just have our two video clips in there so over on the right hand side is where you can add effects if you want to you can put something in reverse order um, which would look like that so you can that would be kind of fun to do um, but we're not going to do that you can do a fade in to your clip, you can do a fade out of your clip, you can adjust the audio. GoPro Studio automatically adjusts your white balance and does a bunch of other things with your exposure and things like that. Um, I, I wouldn't mess with any of these, I don't think it's necessary for this particular video, but just know that those options are there and maybe we'll probably cover those later on in another video. So once you have your clips arranged how you want them, 
we're going to export. So we're going to come up here to step three and export. This is where you can decide what you want to name your final movie. Um, we're going to come up here. Where's my folder? We're going to call this, we'll call it the same thing that we named our project. Hershey Park Water Slide. This will be the actual file name of the movie when you export it. So I always select HD 1080p, tells me the duration is 18 seconds long and about what the file size is going to be. And then I hit export. So what this is going to do is going to save all those clips together and any um, transitions or any effects that we did to our clips, it's going to save all that stuff into one file, one movie that we can upload to Facebook or upload to YouTube or save it on our hard drive or do whatever with it that we want to do. So that is the gist of GoPro Studio. It's pretty easy to get started. GoPro Studio walks you through each step. And as long as you don't have super complicated clips that you want to edit, um, it's you pretty much just drag and drop them and save it and you've got yourself a whole movie. So this is video number one in a series of videos in getting started with using GoPro Studio. So I hope that gives you a really great overview in the beginning because in the next video, we're going to talk about adding multiple clips together from like a family vacation or a birthday party or something where you have multiple clips from a day or from multiple days or a weekend or whatever um, and editing all those into one big epic home movie. So if you wanna learn more about making home movies that people will actually watch, whether you use a GoPro or an iPhone or any kind of camera, um, I invite you to join me. Head on over to gopromom.com, give me your email address so that you can get my weekly emails and subscribe to this channel. See ya! GoPromom.com